got one of these that don't work. I'm going to show you a little trick on something that I call direct flashing to help get this thing started if regular flashing doesn't function. Stick around. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, folks. Uh, this is going to be a video short. It's going to be a video short on direct charging these type of generators. This is one of those uh, two-stroke generators sold by Harbor Freight, but it's sold by many other companies with various names and tags on it in different configurations. But generally, they all use the same system to excite the generator and bring it to life. They use a condenser or a capacitor, whichever you want to call it. This item here is what you need to be charging. If you go on online and you look at YouTube, such as I did, or if you go to Google and you try to Google the information and try to find it, you're going to probably find the same information I found. Everybody tells you to excite it through this port right here. This is your 120 output port. And once you put a generator on, uh, a uh, drill on it, pull the trigger, reverse, uh, spin it, uh, other devices like that you can do, you can use it to, to basically send a signal back through this thing. Hooking a battery to it is another method, and I showed you all those methods in a previous video. However, when it's stubborn enough, it's not going to take to that. There is another way to do it. And generally what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a charge into this. And what they're trying to do is use electromagnetic fields and, and magnetism and what have you to induce current into the circuit that has this on it. Better if you were to go directly to this powered up. So what I do is take the face off, this item is mounted right up here. There are two wires attached to it. And I'm going to insert a video right here showing you just what I did to get this done. Then I'll come back and explain how to actually hook it up so you can do it. Okay, right now I'm going to use this 12 volt battery again. We're going to direct flash this uh, new capacitor. There's the light. Let it work. It was that simple, really. I mean, I spent a lot of time looking online. I'm sure probably a lot of you guys are too, uh, trying to find a way to get this thing to come to life. Um, and it never came to life through this circuit here. Now, this had other problems. You know, don't get me wrong, it had other problems. In it. But if all you were doing was trying to get this thing flashed and uh, you couldn't get it to flash through here, I hate to see you just toss this thing and just give up on it. There's one more trick to do it, and that is the one I just showed you. Now, let me explain how to hook this up safely. The way I did it in that video, probably not the safest and best way for you to do it. Keep in mind, this is a gasoline generator. I created a spark there, and if there was anything leaking, any vapors or anything here, I could have ignited it. Fortunately, in my case, I'm outside where I'm ventilated very well, and I also knew that there was no, nothing leaking because I had done all the work on the thing. But it's safer to do it away from it. You don't want to do it at the battery, because the battery has hydrogen gas, and hydrogen gas is like the Hindenburg, and we know what happened to the Hindenburg. So what we want to do is make our spark someplace in between. So you're going to take three wires, put one wire to the one side of this, and it doesn't matter which one it is because this is not, the polarity doesn't matter, it's not polarized. So take, hook one side of the wire to here, and a second wire off of here. One of these two wires you're going to hook to one of the posts on the battery. You can take the third wire and hook it to the post on the battery that hasn't been used, and you're going to bring it out, and you're going to have the generator running with this all connected, and you're going to make your contact out here. You can do it for two to three seconds. In the video, you saw that it only took an instantaneous thing. I was fortunate in that case. But what you'll do is get it hooked up, put a light in here, turn the light on so you can see it'll come on when, when it's working, pull it out here, do your excite. When it lights up, you're done and ready to go. It was that easy. Thanks for coming by. Thank you.